Hello and welcome back to Trains Simulator. Uh, this is Alth Raised. We're playing through Sim Weekly here. And uh, this is the Mashausen 2 expansion uh, for the 2009 edition, I guess, is when this came out. Um, this one has cars, though. So I don't know when the other one came out. I'll have to actually look it up. Uh, okay. So, should you prefer... Oh, wow. Print out the instructions. I would like to do it manually. Preferably. Ooh. Neat. Uh, blower, big tap. I don't know anything about steam fired engines. Oh boy. Okay. Um, so. One of these might be a break. I have no idea. Okay. So breaks off. Our PSI is Probably not high enough. Um, quick drive error. Okay. <laughs> Useful. Uh, if I could actually get. Oh, I did something. I don't know what that does. Okay. There we go. We're moving. <laughs> we have a horn. <laughs> oh, I like this. Oh, come on. I have no idea how much I have to control the tracks. Um, hopefully not at all, since I have no clue how to do that. So yeah, this is definitely Model Train Simulator. Um, even with an objective like this, they definitely went for that model train look. Why would you use a steam train to haul cement, though? Like, that just doesn't make sense to me. So this came out about five years ago. According to the website that I found their main site leads to, uh, yeah. Okay, so what do we got? Waybills, 12 units, 16 foot long stack requiring SS multi-log dump. Cool. Oh, so it's actually using resources, even. Okay, so that might be more detailed than I thought. Um, go ahead and lower the regulator some, since I assume that's our throttle control. 
Uh, we're going a little fast. Nifty. So I don't really know where we're going. Oh, there are a lot. There are so many. I don't know why there are so many. Um, this is the train I was given. So I'll work with it. Uh, looks like they want me to stop there. That ain't happening. I don't know, this, this looks, uh, what came out in 2009? What am I comparing this to? I can't think of anything. <laughs> oh, what was 2009? God, I was working so much at that point. Um, didn't Spore come out around then? I don't think it's probably fair to compare this to Spore, but... Uh, is that my loading area? No, can't be. I have no idea. Um, does that tell me where? No. Uh, view current schedule, I can't do that. Uh-oh. Uh I clicked commodity picker. Oh, Jesus. That doesn't mean anything. Um, since I'm not switching trains. And I just wanted to move some cement. So apparently, this is a game you really have got to, like, dive in and learn. But that's not something I'm gonna do. Ever. Um not that into trains. I really just kind of wanted to compare it to Train Simulator 2014, but I can't really do that fairly considering the age difference of five years ish, four and a half, something like that. Um, and that game is definitely built around enthusiasts and fanatics and such. You know, I think I'm just going to floor it and see what happens when we either crash or run out of coal. Um, I can't really see playing this game too much more. Even with the bunch of scenarios that are added in. It's not for me. Um... It is a pretty good simulator. I'll give it that. I mean, this is this is a very nice setup here. That's very loud. That's why I'm not in the cab. <laughs> but uh I don't know, like, I can't view the schedule or anything. I lost my schedule menu up here, and I'm sure there's a button that will bring it back someplace. Oh. Okay. But I don't know what it is. Unfortunately, nothing actually just does that. I like that they got cars in this one. That's nice. My coal levels have gone up. Um, I am carbonizing wood while going. I have no idea. 
I like how they start going down quickly as soon as I notice they went up. <laughs> um, I don't know, really. Uh, there's no real indicator of where I should have stopped. Um, the helpful arrows, quote unquote, are not terribly helpful. The shadows are weird. What is that, the wheels only that have shadows? Instead of the load they're carrying? Alright. But, five years ago, comparing it to something like Spore, I really wish I could think of something else that came out five years ago. Um, when did Oblivion come out? Somewhere around that time. That's another one that... Yeah. Maybe. No, Oblivion looked better than this. Didn't have cars of trains, of course, but still. Yep, train don't stop for no one. Train don't know where to stop. Train probably missed where to stop since I didn't actually read through it, thinking for some reason that I would have my schedule actually working. Um, there are way too many places to navigate to. Let's see, is one of them cement? No. Um... I don't know, I don't remember where I'm supposed to be taking it. Uh, I guess I should have printed out the documents? <laughs> no, that would never happen. Um, I wouldn't waste the ink. But... Interesting nonetheless. Wow. It has a hard time with these names, doesn't it? Okay, that's really neat, I guess. Um, no, that's just, that's really bad animated water. <laughs> uh, looks like some California lakeside property. <laughs> uh, for those who don't know, California is experiencing one of its worst droughts right now. Um, I don't know where my train went. Can I go back to my train, please? Thank you. And, uh, a lot of our lakes and reservoirs are down very low. Uh, to the point where it's quite problematic, even. I don't know. No destination on the map. Right? Dave, Greg, Eric, Edgar, Detleaf. I don't know. Those, those are names of conductors, I take it. Um, we can get on a boat. And a helicopter, from what I recall seeing. Uh, so then, reverse. Let's pull away. Is this a steam boat? <laughs> All right, that's working out well. Hey, we're moving. 
Oh, we have a tug with us. Um, I don't actually have any control of the boat. Did not mean to apply a brake there. Okay, so that's enough of the boat. Um, now supposedly there's a helicopter here too. Nope. Uh, let's see how Dave 1 is doing. Dave 1 is in a tunnel. It's a good looking tunnel. Okay, there we go. Let's see, can we get a look at one of these cars here? Old car. Okay. So, maybe this is set a hundred years ago? With a tugboat and a helicopter. Although I haven't found the helicopter, admittedly. Uh, what's this one here? Charlie. Can I reverse with Charlie? Yeah, no problem. Where are we going, Charlie? I don't know how to turn. Can't turn. It drives all on its own. Yep, drives all on its own. Okay. That's weird. It's a boat. I mean, it's a boat I literally can't do a U turn in. Alright, back to Dave. Dave is down to 15%. I don't think we're going to run out before this episode is over. That's pretty impressive. Can I decouple? That'd be really funny if I could. Um, I'm not putting a bunch of effort into this game, and I'm sorry for that. I know I usually do try to play these games appropriately, but I really just don't have enough information to make this game fun. Um, it seems like if you were really into trains a few years ago, this could be a good purchase. Um, $20 for the game and then per expansion. That seems a bit outrageous. Um, that's the current price of them too. That is not like... That's the previous price. That is the modern day price is $19.90. Uh, I got the three modules that I have on sale for a little under a dollar, which is a much closer to appropriate price. Is that ice? Or is that supposed to be water? I like that they have running water noise. That's cool. Or I guess that's rapid. has to be. That has to be what they're trying to indicate there is rapids. That's the same as the waterfall. Waterfall is quite loud. That's neat. I don't know. Rapids could be better. Um, vegetation could be a lot better. I guess that's a tree skin that they sort of threw on the mountain, or bush, or something. Uh, it's not grass. I don't want to get close to it, it's still quite loud. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's supposed to be, I guess, like forest view or something, but 
they couldn't afford to put in the extra trees under this graphics engine, maybe? I don't know. I mean, it'd be fun to just watch this, I guess, as like a screensaver. Um, and if you were trying real hard to complete the mission and everything, objective, not really a mission, uh, that wouldn't be too bad. I don't know what they really had for Train Simulator five years ago, but uh, if this was top of the line, then I mean... Why is all the falling water the same smoke design? <laughs> oh, they got some logs out there. Blocking it from boats. Some glitchy water. Whoa, whoa. Jesus. That tunnel. Alright. So, nowhere near to running out of coal. I don't know what I could really do try and run out faster. I'm guessing I made it slower. Much slower. I don't know what this one is. Okay. Well, that does it for this one. Since I don't actually know what I did. <laughs> All right. Um. Oh, I put us in reverse at some point, apparently. I don't even know which one did that. Oh, that was the train. Oh, I, when did I hit that? Okay, I didn't even notice I hit that. Um, oops. <laughs> No, it didn't do reverse. I don't know. Alright, that'll do it for today. Hope you enjoyed. Um, I'm thinking I'm going to give up on this. Uh, I know I'm not good enough to play this. And I don't have the patience to become good enough. So I'm going to pass on it. Uh, Euro Truck Simulator for the rest of the week. I hope you enjoyed this short trip into trains. If you really, really like trains, maybe. I'd still go with Train Simulator 2014 though. Um, it might be because it's maybe more beginner friendly entirely possible. Alright, hope you enjoyed. Bye-bye.